Closures inequality and entropy. Closures inequality. Closures theorem is a mathematical explanation of second law of thermodynamics. Closures inequality, which mainly applied in thermodynamic cycle, is formed from the Closures theorem. We know that the term reversible process and irreversible process have a major role in thermodynamics. A cycle consists of different processes. The closures inequality is applied as a mathematical equation on a cycle by splitting it into its processes. It then helps to find whether the cycle and all its processes are reversible or not. German scientist R. J. E. Clausius stated that the cyclic integral of dq by t in a thermodynamic cycle is always less than or equal to zero. The cyclic integral dq by t is less than or equal to zero. Here we are using the cyclic integral to denote the cyclic process. This inequality is valid for any cycle, let it be reversible or irreversible. Specifically for reversible cycle, we can write cyclic integral dq by t of reversible is equal to zero. For irreversible cycle, the cyclic integral dq by t of irreversible cycle is less than zero. Any cycle which do not obey this expression is an impossible cycle. That is, the cyclic integral dq by t of an impossible cycle is greater than zero for impossible cycle. Note that the cyclic integral is a summation. The quantity dq by t is calculated for each process in the cycle and its sum is taken to check the Clausius inequality. Clausius theorem was introduced mainly to explain the relation of heat flow and entropy of a system and surrounding. Entropy The second law leads to a new property called entropy. Qualitatively, it is a measure of microscopic disorder of a system and it has a tendency to increase. It is also related to the arrangement of atoms or molecules in a system. Consider a table surface and we have five balls in our hand. We have so many ways to arrange these balls on the table. Entropy simply means the number of ways we can arrange these balls. Now assume the balls as gas molecules and table surface as a box. The gas molecules can be arranged in many different arrangements. Higher the number of arrangements, higher is the randomness. The entropy is more if the randomness is more. Consider a situation here when we spray perfume on our shirt. The perfume molecules will spread throughout the room. Perfume that was liquid in bottle was in ordered arrangement, but when it spray out, it expands to fine particles that have a disordered arrangement within the room space. So randomness increases, which means entropy increases. So any process which increase randomness will increase the entropy. All the irreversible process are like this. The processes we consider in thermodynamics like work and heat interaction are accompanied with factors causing irreversibility, for example, friction. All irreversible processes increases the entropy. This applicable to a system and its surrounding. The universe consists of the system and the surrounding. Most of the other processes in nature also are irreversible and hence the entropy of the universe increases. In a cycle, when the system returns to its initial state, the net change in value of any property is zero. Consider the property as a function m. The cyclic integral of any property of the system is zero. Cyclic integral m is equal to zero. Since the cyclic integral dq by t is equal to zero, dq by t is a property of the system and this fact was discovered by Clausius. He named this property as entropy. It is denoted by 
S. Its unit is Joule per Kelvin. S is equal to Q by T. Entropy is an extensive property of the system. Specific entropy is the entropy per unit mass. It is denoted by small s. Small s is equal to capital S by M. It is unit is joule per kilogram Kelvin. The entropy change of a system during a process can be found out by the formula integral 1 to 2 ds is equal to integral 1 to 2 dq by t reversible. Delta s is equal to s2 minus s1 which is equal to integral 1 to 2 dq by t reversible. The integration of the quantity dq by t should be done only along a reversible path between the end states. Temperature Entropy Diagram In Temperature Entropy Diagram, we plot entropy S in x-axis and temperature T in y-axis. It is called T-S plot. In T-S plot, the isentropic process is represented as a straight line parallel to y-axis. Isothermal process is represented by a straight line parallel to x-axis. Isobaric process and isochoric process are plotted as curves with different slopes. Slope of curve of an isochoric process is more than that of an isobaric process. We know that in a pressure volume plot, the area under the PV curve gives the work done during a process. Similarly, in a temperature entropy diagram, the area under the TS curve gives the heat transfer involved in that process.